Treating um, facial pigment is something that comes in our office all the time. Women that are challenged with sunspots, but also the mask of pregnancy, like melasma, um, and even sometimes scars or acne scars that get darkened and get black, right? And it can be a real, real challenge because one of the challenges with it, especially melasma, is that we often treat them with lasers as part of the formula for that, um, and that creates heat, and then heat actually can worsen pigmentation, so you find yourself in this bind. So one thing we think is very important for patients with pigmentation problems is to start by putting them on a bleaching agent. But a bleaching agent doesn't actually bleach anything, right? All it really does is shut down the melanocytes that produce the pigment. So you're gonna stop additional pigment. And then you can start treating them with some of our other products, or our chemical pills, or our lasers, to start to take away the pigment that's already there. That's why we start doing skin care and doing facials and microdermabrasions, because now we're gonna to start to work on the pigment and try to get the skin to turn over. You know, to really get rid of a spot on your face, you probably have to spend a certain skin cycle around three times, and a skin cycle takes six weeks. So about 18 to 20 weeks to really see that spot fade. Well, the problem is patients can get really bored at about week eight or 10 when they don't see the fading of the spot. And so we have to educate them that the bleaching agent actually is not bleaching anything. It's just shutting down future pigment and we're gonna start working on taking off that pigment. Of course, the deeper the pigment, the longer it takes. And so pigment's very complicated to treat um, and it really takes a lifelong commitment um, with that because the number one way to treat pigment is to use sunblocks because actually any sun exposure on somebody with a pigmentation problem creates just a future pigmentation problem. And that's the challenge, right? We'll treat somebody and then they kind of go out in the sun, don't even realize that they're going to the grocery store. They're kind of, it's the sunblock by 11 in the morning's gone and they're still getting exposure. Or they take a trip to Florida and then they get re-exposed and you really actually start all over again with that. And that's the real challenge for patients with that.